Do you think remakes and sequels ruin the original films? I, I think a sequel can uh, ruin a movie franchise worse than a, a remake. remake. Yeah, a that's remake no facts. Oh, that's, yeah. that's true. Absolutely, because that's true. with a sequel... Uh, it just makes you look at the first. Well, why did like, I why, get into this first movie? Yeah. Why? Why did I think the first Transformers movie was okay? If my, if, my, if I knew Michael Bay was gonna do what he was gonna do, I would have stayed away from Transformers one. Yeah. <laughs> and and you, if you can do what John Wick did, went from John Wick one, John yeah. Wick two, John Wick three, John Wick four. So, if, in other words, if you can actually justify the sequel beyond, yes. I want to make some money. If it's actually good, yeah, if it's actually good. <laughs> but if you, good. yeah, if you do what Transformers did, yeah, oh my a- god, after, I mean, after I mean. that first one, maybe the second was o- just a little bit okay. But when I seen that third one, I see y'all <laughs> constantly beating up the same person. You kill him, and then bring him back. He comes to another body and. I see nothing but explosions. Caution, Megatron's back. We no, got to do something. Dude, but isn't that the case with all of them? I mean, even with uh, Fast and the Furious, another sequel slash reboot. Uh, because that's, that's, what a- it is. that's what it is. We, we can say they're sequels, but they're not. You can't tell me that that first Fast and the Furious movie led you to space. No. Right? no that, it's yeah, a reboot. It, it is a completely it different franchise that they're, they're calling it a sequel, but it, it really is. It, we all know that it's a reboot. Uh, when I see you going out of space, I just know that you have nothing else to offer. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have nothing else to offer. I mean, it's, <laughs> you got, but but I want to ask y'all. It's like now that we we're kind of getting into sequels. I, I also want to talk about these reboots and remakes. You know, we recently had like the Crow. Obviously, they announced that we announced the uh, the prequel to the Lion King, Mufasa. Yeah. Do you guys think that any of those have a shot at being decent? But see, but see my <sighs> thing is, or do you just think that a waste of time? At least, it with is. The, at least with the Lion King, because it's not an actual remake; it's a prequel. So that's a, you think there's a shot? I think it's a shot that the uh, it can be pretty good. But I kind of I wish it was cartoon instead of live action, though. Kind of like it's I not just really think live that, action, that there's something about and and the caution. You saw the Lion King remake, yep, right? I did. There's something about how lifeless. Those, yeah, those CGI like, lines. Just, look, I don't like the way it looks. They, they just look so dead and lifeless. It's just That's the like, visuals. I, I mean, I, really to me, it, it's like there's a when you go back and watch the original Lion King, you look at that 2D animation. They bring so much life to That's that world and to those them, characters. What made them decide to get rid of it? I, I don't know. I just think that they thought, oh, you know, CGI is popular these days. Let's make another yeah. CGI movie. I just think that the, they replaced it with something that just doesn't do it. And even in the, the trailer for Mufasa that we just saw uh, that came out recently, I had that same feeling. I thought that they would have gotten better, it's just, but just it's the like characters is like, man, I would have loved to see this prequel back when it was doing a two D animation. Yeah, I agree. I would love to see the prequel. I would, I would have too. loved to have seen it around that time. Yeah, but yeah. I don't think remakes totally. Ruin uh, like the movie franchise. I think, like I said, the sequel do more so because sometimes a remake can be pretty great, like the Scarface or uh, remake. Uh, it sometimes, but I feel like also the fans who have nostalgic of the movies that they grew up uh, watching that they can go always go back and see those movies. They don't have to see the remake. They can go back to see what they know and love. Well, one of the most famous remakes of is of the horror movie The Thing. Uh, oh, it yeah. came out in the 1980s. Yeah. I mean, the original yeah, yeah, uh, was not bad in its own right, but the thing, the special effects, the gore, the body horror, uh, it just took it to another level. And, it, and you know, but that's a classic example of a, a remake you can justify because the technology made it better. But no, it's like uh, reboots and, and remakes and sequels. Uh, Hollywood needs money. <laughs> they, yeah, I, I can they, tell they, they need money tell. more yeah, these days it's like I'm broke caution these, these, stop, stop blaming me I like I money. say these remakes ain't nothing but cash grabbing money it's just it's nothing they just because yeah. they running out of ideas it goes back to because they running out of ideas and we broke yeah, we need that cash it's just, yeah. I need to I need to go back to this oh remember we was making this much money let's yeah. remake this yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. that's basically yeah. what they're doing you, they, you they running out of ideas to come out with new stuff, and I actually seen a uh, 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 this guy was talking about on on the um, I think it was like a, a documentary or some stuff, or maybe he was getting interviewed and he was like saying how movies they remaking all these new movies and stuff, and then and, it, and it's it's coming out trash. But he was saying that's because they want to they they need cash, they need well they're greedy they, they, they're greedy yeah they they literally, they literally 
trying to grab much money as as they can as possible because they they don't really have anything else. So you you, well, got, you guys don't think that some of them directors truly have a passion for basically remaking this movie? Even if they All do right. have a passion, the companies they work for don't. Like, yeah, it's about I, I have no cash. doubt that the directors who put their lives and time into those movies, whether it's The Little Mermaid or whatever else, yeah, they, they had some passion into it, but Disney is a soulless corporation. And then some of these <laughs> people, they don't want to put the money behind it. They'll they'll put a little bit of money behind it and then want to make a they they hope to make a fortune out of the little money they put behind. Well, they do this with yeah. horror movie remakes it's crazy. all the time. They'll look crazy. at a horror movie remake and go, okay, well we're not gonna put that much money in it because you know horror movies they they make them for cheap. So yeah. okay, but, well but sometimes true. sometimes the fans fall for it and they still yeah. go out there and, and they know it. Yeah. And watch. They, they 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 know that fans fall for this. Uh, but they're not falling for it as much as they used to, which is why they get desperate. That's why I, I think it's up to the fans to basically put this put that put a stand down and be like, no, nah, we're not gonna pay for this. We not we know, yeah, it's a remake of our favorite movie or it's a sequel of our favorite movie, but if it's trash, it's trash. We're not paying for this. You know, you guys, I I can't believe anybody would do a sequel or a remake. I mean, who would do that? Who would create a sequel to a video? Oh us. Oh, 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 oh,